Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the top 5 best action cameras and camcorders in the market. For this year I made this list based on my personal opinion and I tried to list them based on their price quality, durability and more to see. The price and find out more information about these action cameras and camcorders, you can check out the description below. Also make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the latest reviews. Ok, so let's get started with the video. At number 5 it's the GoPro Fusion. The GoPro Fusion sets itself apart from other 360 degree cameras thanks to high resolution capture, 5.2K, and software that leverages those extra pixels to pan, zoom, and display spherical video in a traditional frame. GoPro calls this over capture. It delivers pro results when used with desktop editing software, but the mobile experience isn't quite as polished as what we've seen from the competing Rilo. GoPro promises improvement in the future, and the Fusion's video quality is better, so we're rating it higher. With a little extra software polish it would be an ear shoe in for our editor's choice award. Pros captures 360 degree video at 5.2K resolution. Overcapture brings life to 360 footage. Photo and time lapse modes. Rugged build. Strong image stabilization. Compatible with GoPro mounting system. Cons. Pricey. Video stitching requires some serious horsepower. Mobile overcapture editing tools need a little work. Huge file sizes. Gets very warm when recording. Bottom line. The GoPro Fusion lets you do more with 360 degree video than other cameras. But its mobile software experience could use some refinement. At number 4, it's the Nikon Key Mission 360. The Nikon Key Mission 360 does a lot of things right, but it also does a few things wrong. It's the easiest 360 degree video camera to use. The footage is ready for upload to the web right off the memory card, without the need to any time intensive conversion process and it's waterproof to 100 feet without an external case. But it lacks some features that would make it more versatile, including a single lens 16 to 9 capture mode and a microphone input jack. Video quality is up there with some of the stronger 360 degree cameras we've looked at, including the Samsung Gear 360 $178.95 at Amazon, but the price is also higher. If you're intent on jumping into the 360 degree capture world at this early juncture, the Key Mission 360 will give you the fewest headaches, but we still recommend holding off until video quality is better. Pros Pre-stitched 360 degree 4K video, 29 MP still capture, waterproof to 100 feet, Wi-Fi remote control, electronic vibration reduction, Mac and Windows desktop software, cons, doesn't double as a traditional action cam, seems visible at close distances, short battery life, huge file sizes, 4K resolution at 24 FPS only, no mic input, mounts aren't GoPro compatible, bottom line, the Nikon Key Mission 360 is the easiest 360 degree camera to use and delivers strong quality video, but the technology is still in its infancy. At number 3 it's the Sony FDRX3000. Sony's action cam line has long played second fiddle to more popular options from GoPro in the hearts and minds of consumers. Its top-end model, the FDRX3000, offers optical image stabilization, something you don't get with our editor's choice Hero 5 Black. You can't argue with its video quality, as the 100 Mbps 4K footage looks great, but the lack of an integrated viewfinder LCD and a non-traditional form factor hold it back. It's a solid alternative to a GoPro for times when stabilization is key but not as easy to use or squeeze into small places as the Hero 5 Black. Pros, 4K recording with optical stabilization, 100 Mbps Zavk S compression, in-body tripod mount, protected from dust and splashes without case, includes waterproof case, standard mic input, Wi-Fi, cons. Monochrome information LCD only, underwhelming still image quality, limited battery life. Bottom line, the Sony FDRX3000 action cam records optically stabilized 4K footage, but it's not as easy to use or squeeze into small places as a GoPro.
At number 2 it's the Wimia Cell 1. The Wimia Cell 1 is one of the least expensive 4K action cameras you can buy. It doesn't have a ton of bells and whistles. There's no touch screen and its digital image stabilization isn't worth using, but video quality is solid, and it ships with a ton of accessories, including a waterproof case. The L1 is a good action cam for shoppers on a tight budget, but if you can spend more, you'll enjoy a better experience with our Redditor's Choice, the $160 SJ Cam SJ6 Legend. Pros, inexpensive, shoots in 4K, includes waterproof case, compact, rear LCD, strong battery life, Wi-Fi, cons, so-so audio quality, ineffective digital stabilization, shows date stamp by default. Bottom line, the Wimia Cell 1 is a compact action cam with 4K support and a rock bottom price tag, but it doesn't support touch control and its microphone disappoints. At number 1 it's the GoPro Hero 7 Black. It's been less than a year since we saw a new flagship GoPro, but the company isn't one to rest on its laurels. A scant 11 months after releasing the Hero 6 Black, the company is reconfiguring its action camera lineup. Sitting at the top is the Hero 7 Black, which adds stabilization to additional video modes and can stream video to the net via your cell phone's data. It's not as big a step forward as the Hero 6 was but it's a better camera for the same price, and earns our editor's choice recommendation. Pros, compact, rugged design, waterproof to 33 feet, 4K 60fps recording with stabilization, up to 240fps at 1080p, voice control, smartphone app with streaming support, cons, battery life could be better, Wi-Fi file transfer time can be lengthy. Bottom line, the GoPro Hero 7 Black adds stabilization to 4K 60 video, and is the lone hero with live streaming support. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you soon as I can.